This is Ward. Who am I talking to? Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Ryan. Wonder why? You're not a cop. Listen, I know you tried to warn Ryan about the cyber psycho. What else do you know? Now that you best meet with me. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be there, stat. So, as I was saying... You never get yourself chipped? Kinda like having a dentist with no teeth, isn't it? I have good rep. You won't hear any complaint about me. But why? I mean, your job would be a lot easier with some zoom-capable Karashi optics. I'm sure it would. Until the day this planet gets hit by a massive solar flare. I'm talking about a geomagnetic storm that wipes out all live circuit systems, uh, implants included. So why would I get Kuroshi if sooner or later I just go blind? If you're so paranoid, why are you chipping other people with Chrome? I like the job. Besides, nobody wants to hear the truth anyway. You mind taking a look at my Chrome? Sure. Make yourself comfortable. It's a good thing you answered. I could probably use your help. Probably. Fine. I could really use your help. Can we meet? Deep breaths, Pan Am. Tell me what's going on. Do you remember Saul? The leader of the clan I left? Yeah, yeah. I had a falling out or something. Doesn't matter right now. He... They nabbed him. This is just not suitable for a call, V. Just tell me when and where. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Swing by the Alde Caldos camp. I'll explain it all. The Alde Caldos? I thought you parted ways. Look, it's a long story. Just hurry over. I'm here. Fuck this country. Someone here to see you, look like. Huh. Wonder what about You must be the partner, Detective Han. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to me. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. Now I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. Be back on that. 
Boss already told you to drop it. You can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, just let the case go. See me do anything? Just sitting here sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be over. Feeling tired? Okay. Talk. I see Detective Hans not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Hans not a fan of anybody, except his daughter. He wanted to talk. Before the attack, he wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info, dude. What was it? Let me ask you a question first. Why do you got your nose in this? Who hired you? Sorry. Never give up the names of my clients. Well then, I'm sure you've got plenty of other leads besides me. I mean, I sure hope so, because I'm not telling you a thing. And I'm not being mean or nosy, nor is it personal. Just covering my own ass. My own safety's at stake, too. So, before I open my mouth, I need to know whose ears are listening. Liz Perales hired me, and her husband. Jefferson, the presumed future mayor. <laughs> Guess I could have seen that coming. You know what? Pond was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that. Because he got a good heart. Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Ashamed? Nah. Just not something you see every day. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. Before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the hush hush? Morales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first. <laughs> who would? As I see it, Morales is out to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? No, but even if he's not, the murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy-ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. I'm sorry. We? Can't shake this case. Something's up. Just look how quickly it was closed. This way, you can get your job done, while I find evidence that gets my chief to reopen the case. Win-win. So, where to first? Let's go see your informer. Club's a better lead. Fine with me.
My guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. Who is this guy? Proud proprietor. He's got all sorts of clients, and he's nosy as hell. So he knows all about everyone. Plus, he's a coward. Perfect combo. He's your CI. He doesn't know me. Well, uh, last we met, it didn't go so well. For him. People he ratted out got wind of it. I think you got a better chance of getting him to talk without me. At least voluntarily. All right, wait here then. Retired, bored, powerless. Not anymore. Experience all of Chromanticore's 16 new flavors and mix it up. You looking for uh, general inspiration or something specific? Because I can help with both. Looking for a club, Red Queen's Race? If I was you, I'd try somewhere a little more welcoming. Lizzie's over in Kabuki is a good start. Or Cloud's in Japantown. Want an address? Look, club's invitation only, right? You don't know the address, it means you're not welcome. Igor says hi. Fuck, no. Said I was done. I was out. Leave me the fuck alone, all of you. Hey, Neil. Piss off. Relax. Just got one question to ask you. My dad Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. We can, actually, and we will. Just tell us where to find Red Queen's race. I don't know. Lions, go! When I asked inside, you knew exactly what I was talking about. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. But come here again, and I'll fucking lodge an official complaint. This is goddamn harassment right here. It's outside city limits. Near the river. Benita Street area. You been there? Made some deliveries. Goods. Sometimes peeps. I got no idea why you want to go poking around there. Club's empty. He shut it all down. Shut it down? Before or after Mayor Ryan died? Uh, soon after, I guess. Thanks, Neil. Where there's My shit luck! Well, well. That's what I call a breakthrough. It seems promising, but I'd still hit that market. Market? Morvoth's employer, one I mentioned before. I just wouldn't let that leap drop. Okay, let's go see this market of yours. We're gonna take my car? Sure, thanks. Can a heart explode out of love? The cult of musical corporate was back in theaters near you.
90% of any detective's job is talking. But you know that already. I'll say you're kind of natural. The other 10%, what's it consist of? Writing reports. So who are we supposed to talk to? CyberCycle's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. Biohazard as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, me. idea who we're looking for. I have to ask around. I'll start from the left and take the right. Hey, friend. Christine Markov, we have some questions. You badges? Looking for data on Pater Horvath. Worked here, apparently. Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. When the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about Pater, weird doesn't mean what it means for everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. But the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath? Gonks both, but completely different gonks. Horvath make good scratch here. Could have bought this whole market with the chrome he was packing. <laughs> oh yeah, made scads on scads here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where'd he get the Eddies? Know anything? Look. If I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scop to tower trash. I'd get myself an AV, fly my fucking slim ass out of here. Peter showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. These, uh, speeches. What did he have to say? Ryan, corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why'd he have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. So as Horvath saw it, who else had it in for? Besides Ryan? A uh, madam president, mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was his son's turn. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Horvath had sponsors. You might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. Sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. The neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit, the guy whose head always hurt. An accident, coincidence, or maybe air dispersed poison, a deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Great. Let me handle this, V. Step aside, Lug. 
Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Hey, gentlemen, gentlemen, chill, please. Whoa, what a nightmare! Not one of those Ishimegai no arisouna yats, janeka. Jump, clown! Jump! What the fuck? I'd handle it. Walking the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? Good thing nobody got killed. A little less paperwork. Okay. Red Queen's race now. Go ride with me. Sure, I'll ride with you. these so-called union representatives immediately contact the NCPD or the appropriate corporate security forces. More and more patients have been filing into hospitals throughout Night City with injuries caused by malfunctions in illegally purchased cyberware. Unauthenticated implants have caused several fatal short circuits already. The NCPD urges all cyberware users to buy only from licensed manufacturers. Animals turf. Any sly cop rules for talking to them? Scratch their tummies. Don't expose your throat. Ha fucking ha. We're short a warrant, so you're on your own. You find anything, tell me. Fuck off! Nothing to see here.
Like a normal body shop to me. Club's here. I'm telling you. Tell him you got a hunch? Cop intuition? Something like that.
bears inside. <laughs> Clever. Nice. Someone really wanted to cover up whatever it was that went down. What should we be looking for? Let's try to find something that looks like an office. Every club has one.
Looks like an Stiff office. Sort of. You ask me, he's Comps are what we want. Comps above all. No. No trauma card. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. Uh, a club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. No way. Yep. Yes. All right, I'll buzz you later. River, found some footage. You're gonna want to see this. Sending it your way. Your chum covered up the true circumstances of Ryan's death. My chum? You mean Han? Yeah, him. You didn't know? Not a thing? Shit. No, no, I can't. Get out of there, V. I'm gonna ping him. Tell him to meet at Chubby Buffalo's. And we're going straight there. Okay, hang on. Be there in a sec. You couldn't come in without a warrant. I can't. Some gonks just ask to be flatlined sometimes. Yeah. Right. What was that, V? You asked me. One heart attack that killed Ryan. As I said from the start. But <laughs> someone spiked his BD. That's what killed him. Fuck. I think you could be right. Come on, V. Gonna look around some more. Okay. Do what you will. Waste of time as I see it, though. Okay. Let's Delta. Think I saw another way out on the way in. With this punk? Shot it, Harold. I know what you did. Not about to ask why you covered it up. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just wanna know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? 
Your conscience is clear. You can sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. You got no idea how this city works. I think a goddamn inspirational idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. I know this town inside out. So you know how it works. At City Hall, in the street. Rules are the same. Ryan knew it too. He fought for this city. Cleanly at times, dirty at others. But always with a lot of heart. Wouldn't have wanted him to get dragged through the muck. Politics bores me to tears. Every mayor, same asshole, different suit. Not every mayor saved the city from Militech pansies, back when the NUSA tried to take us. But Ryan did. You think people will remember that? All that matters is his death, because it reeks of scandal. V, appreciate the help, but this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. How are you gonna do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be. But it wouldn't make much sense. You don't even gotta say who ordered you to go and clean up. I know anyway. So since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights though. Just go home or get some sleep find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. Fuck. <sighs> Han was right, sort of. He's just following orders. Even if he ends up paying for it, the system won't change. I can't let it go, V. I can't, and I won't. Holt murdered Ryan. I wanted his seat. All this tritest motive in the book. That's why I believe it. Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. Even if that's what happened, don't have any solid proof. Got a BD that somebody spiked. Just gotta figure out who. And that, I think I can do. Taking this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. Don't do it. They'll sack you. Or worse. Besides, it won't change a thing. Could be right, you and on. But I couldn't give a shit what you two think. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay. Observe a little. Thanks, V. So, about Ryan. Got a pretty good idea what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting. V? We're upstairs. Thanks. Tell you one thing. Probably gonna be more than one. <laughs> but all right. Don't tell him nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. Suck you in if you're not careful. I'm always careful. Fine. Do whatever the fuck you want. Not like you listen anyway. Hello, V. Please, come in. 
Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. Please, have a seat. Thank you. Good to see you, V. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. It's not 100% clear what happened. Hardly anything ever is. But... Yeah, I got some idea. We shouldn't delay too long. Ryan was murdered. At a sex club. Someone gave him a virus spiked BD. You sure? Yeah, same BD almost wiped me. So yeah, I'd say I'm sure. Got any idea who did it? Can't say for sure. But a lot of things point to Weldon Holt. I knew it! You got any proof? I don't. Just, uh, strong suspicions. That's all we need to know, Jeff. We have to be careful. Keep a close eye on Holt. And up our security. You're right. As always, you're right. Thanks for your help, V. Your fee. You two watch out for each other. Hey there. Now, where did we leave off? Careful. 